Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live on Fox 4. We're so thrilled to be here at a spectacular event. It's the Cape Coral Communities Foundation Generous uh, Cape uh, 2018. We're at the reception phase of this, and I'm getting a chance to talk to some of the honorees of tonight's event, which is a thrill to me because they get to be around all this history. And if you're a fan of the show, you know I get all excited when I'm talking to uh, people who have influenced the uh, Southwest Florida and Lee County community. We have right here Elmer Tabor. He is the first realtor in Cape Coral. Think about that. The first realtor in Cape Coral is right here to talk to us, and he's one of the honorees tonight. Elmer, thanks for uh, joining us on Leapers Live, man. I'm going to have to correct you right up front, right. sir. My grandfather opened the office okay. in 1960. It's Wonderland Realty. And I was only eight years old. Okay. So I was a kid that grew up in Cape Coral and continued the growth of Cape Coral after that. But yes, I've owned the real estate office in 73. Now, you say your grandfather opened it. So you, you your grandfather was the first realtor? Uh, yes. Right, real estate office in Cape Coral. Correct. That's outstanding. Now, back in that time period, you were eight years old. Cape Coral was basically sort of rural, wasn't it? A rural area, a few houses out here at the time? Well, rural, there was nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> nothing? It was a cattle ranch, basically. Really? No, it was, we were the 28th residents that moved to Cape Coral, so there was really nothing here. The only paved road was Cape Coral Parkway. And we came down, and my grandfather opened the, the real estate office, and my dad opened the first grocery store in Cape Coral. And so we were part of the original pioneers that developed Cape Coral and got it going with the Rosen Brothers. Repeat that date again, that year again. You said it was like 1960. Wow. And, and, and now when you look at the, the growth, did you see all this growth? What, what, what comes to your mind? Do you, do you still like, it's like whole hum to you now? Or every now and then you're riding down the street and you're like, this is amazing. I, my initial thought was I should have closed the door. Right. But no, you, you realize Cape Coral's we're, we're only 50% developed right now today, and we still got another 200,000 people. Somebody has bought all those lots, all that vacant land around Cape Coral, and eventually they're going to come here. So really? right now we're sitting here just under 200,000 people, and when at full build-out we'll be 400,000 people. So it's really fun to me to look to see where I've left my footprints in the sand, and I've been very involved in the community. That's why we're here tonight. Uh, and it's really neat to be a part of the community and there's not too many of us fossils that are still alive in Cape Coral that can tell the real history. We're getting it on television right now and I, I'm glad that you mentioned that point that uh, you are involved in the community. What about you and your family said we're not only going to do business in this community, we're going to support the community and be a part of this community? Well, you know, as the Rosen Brothers developed Cape Coral, they were the land developers. They, they did not get into businesses. And they got the different businesses to come in and take the chance of opening up. There, there was only, uh, uh, there was 13 families when my father opened the grocery store in Cape Coral, and that's not much. Well, as you grow through that, families. and you realize that Cape Coral has grown up, and contrary to what a lot of people say, it is a great community, mm -hmm. and it's because of people all banded together. This thing just didn't happen yesterday. It's that all of the families had got together, and if we needed a football stadium, there's a group that went out and created a football stadium. And that's the kind of spirit of the Cape Coral people. Now, this reception here looks like it's about 100 people here. Nice turnout. We have our cameraman. Let's take a look at the uh, crowd that is filing in. When you see all these people come out for such a worthy cause like this, how does it make you feel personally? It, it's the power of Cape Coral people. Okay. It's exciting to know that so many people care so much about this community that they give so much. And you know what? It's not dollar and cent. It's, it's you know, the volunteer time. Cape Coral couldn't survive. No community could survive without volunteers. So this is a room full of some of the top people that have really made Cape Coral what it is today. Wonderland Realty, you say? Yes, it is. What is describe Wonderland Realty? People watching us all. Uh, also, this show online is being seen around the world. All right. So, one describe Cape uh, Wonderland Realty. What is it? How they can tap into having you to, uh, you know, show them Cape and real estate. Uh, basically, Wonderland is a small office and more of a kind of a concierge office. Uh, we like dealing one-on-one -on -one with people. We don't like the Facebook. 
you know, it takes all the personality out of it. And sometimes I don't even like the emails. I'd much rather pick up the phone and give you a right. call and oh. say, hey, Lee. But one of the other things that we offer is I don't think too many people have the history of Cape Coral that I do. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm one of the historians who go around giving history talks about Cape Coral. So if you really want to know the roots and how Cape Coral developed, I've got that to offer, and I love to sit down and talk about my family growing up. What's that phone number and website for your realtor? Company? It's 239-542-2194 is the office number, and it's wonderlandrealty.com. Okay. The, um, five years from now. Five years from now. When we see Cape Coral, we also, along the way, we do know that the Cape Coral Community Foundation is, has expanded its footprint right. uh, throughout Lee County, yep. Southwest Florida. But we, the city of Cape Coral itself, uh, what is going to look like five years from now? It's going to continue to grow. You know, if you look back, Cape Coral was the tail of the dog with compared to Fort Myers. And Cape Coral has grown up, and the tail is wagging the dog now. <laughs> and that's not going to stop, folks. Right. Uh, so Cape Coral is going to continue to grow, and I really believe only get better. The people who are listening to us in various parts of the country who may be considering moving to Cape Coral, starting a business in Cape Coral, sell them on some high points of the Cape. Real easy. Go to the city uh, web. Go to the city website. I don't even have to talk. And on the city website, you'll find that we are number one or two in lower crime. Mm -hmm. We're one of the best places to retire. We're one of the best places to raise kids. Oh, did I forget to tell you? We're one of the best places to start a business. Oh, okay. So if you go, I think there's ten or fifteen different things that uh, has has been listed from Forbes magazine to whatever on how great Cape Coral is. And after you get down here, you find it. And That's talk not about a sales pit. Talk about all those nice canals. I know Cape Coral has a lot of canals, too, got if you got a boat. we got 400 miles of canals. I can hop in my boat at my house, and I can be at my Keys house in three and a half hours. And how often can you say that? we got the man right here, the historian. What I want to hold you to is uh, somewhere down the line. Me and you are going to sit down and we're just going to do a historical documentary conversation about the history of Cape Coral. How's that sound? I love it. All right. You get me talking about Cape Coral, I'm not stopping, and sir. man. Uh, I know we got, we're going to talk to some more uh, uh, recipients uh, tonight. Uh, if you take a look at this list, some of these people you know, I want you to talk about at least one person who's going to be honored tonight. I can, uh, want me to talk about one person? Yeah, yeah. Just, 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 just for you, somebody who you remember and, and how they stayed with the community. Well, let's, let's go with David Gomer. The banker. Has anybody talked about David Gomer? Not yet. David is one of the founders of the Cape Coral Community Foundation. Okay. Uh, David is also one of the pioneers and founding families of Cape Coral. He did come a couple of years later than me, but there's a good example of a guy that got behind the, the, the Cape Coral High School program, the hosti hospital program. That's a perfect example of what I'm telling you that's in this room. And getting those loans made for those mortgages. And he made it happen. <laughs> and he gave loans to me, too. <laughs> no, so there you go, man. I didn't default on him. Man, this is so much fun. Well, uh, again, it's been a pleasure. and look forward to getting with you in the future, okay? Hey, Lee, my pleasure. Thank you very much. Uh, we're at the Generous Cape uh, reception. Uh, Lee Pitts Live here is Johnny on the spot. Big shout out to Taurus Pugh, a photo, uh, you a star photo, who's doing our photos, and he's also uh, on the cameras. And we'll be right back with another interview right here on Lee Pitts Live on Fox 4.